when I was in medical school, the way we remembered the functions of the reptilian and limbic brains were the four Fs, feeding, fighting, fleeing, and procreation. <laughs> and uh, it's based on a very fundamentally wrong premise in medicine. And that fundamentally wrong premise in medicine um, in all of biology is, and in fact in science, is that consciousness is an epiphenomenon that uh, just like your um, gallbladder secretes bile and your pancreas secretes pancreatic juice and your stomach makes hydrochloric acid, your brain secretes consciousness. That's, that's the way we were brought up to think. Now, it's really magnificent, the work that Marilyn is doing and others are doing at the Institute of Noetic Sciences, because what they're trying to accomplish is a very formidable task, trying to so radically change the worldview that consciousness is not um, <clears throat> an epiphenomenon, that consciousness is the phenomenon, and everything else is the epiphenomenon. Consciousness differentiates into perception, which is what we perceive out there, which incidentally is a very fascinating subject in itself. Because presumably, my brain, which gives me the experience that you're out there and I'm here, and that I can see you as separate from me, is actually a perceptual artifact. The more you study perception, the more confusing it gets. The brain, which is responsible for perception, first of all, most of our brain, about you know, 90% of it is mostly fat and water. A little bit, about six, seven percent, is a few minerals you could buy in a hardware store for less than five bucks. <laughs> Moreover, the brain is in this, encased in this skull, and therefore has, it has no direct experience of the world. Your brain, with which you presumably see the world and hear the world, has no direct experience of the world. Your brain responds to things like pH, to things like um, chemicals, hormones, to body temperature, all of which ultimately translates into a binary code of photons across cell membranes. How that creates the experience of an external world, actually the more people study it, the more confusing it gets. Sir Arthur Eddington, one of the greatest scientists of the last century, said something unknown is doing we don't know what. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that's the best we can say about perception. <laughs> How does this thing inside my head give me the experience of an external world, of you sitting out there? Because, you know, the tradition I come from, Vedanta, which is a very ancient wisdom tradition, says that this is just a perceptual artifact. Actually, you're not there. You're in me, and I'm in you. And the place where you're in me, and I'm in you is the same place. And it's not a place, because it has no location in space-time. So where I manufacture you, you manufacture me, and we all together manufacture the whole universe. And that place is consciousness. Thank you.